Now most of the students feel that mathematics is a very difficult subject. We can definitely do our chemistry reactions, we can definitely do the physics, numericals or derivations and score. But how about scoring in mathematics? There is no theory except the formulas. So how to score more in mathematics easily is the agenda of my video. So basically there are many chapters as you know and there are various units in your syllabus mentioned. Relations and functions, algebra, calculus and so on would be the units and there would be many chapters like relations, functions, inverse trigonometric functions, matrices, determinants, integration, differentiation, 3D and so on. So with many chapters, how to go about it? For intelligent students or for the students who find practicing maths very easy, I advise you to please do not leave any topic because this time the CBSC has even introduced the two mark questions. So one mark, two mark, four mark, six marks means that you have to cover the whole of the syllabus in order to practice and then score well in the examination because the question paper would have variety of questions in terms of length. But for those students who want me to tell that how to score more when we cannot complete whole of the syllabus, I should be knowing some important topics and then I'll do that only and if time is left, I'll do some more. So for those students, my advice is something called as like this. You have to cover firstly your matrices and determinants. So matrices and determinants is a chapter which is very easy, very interesting. The question paper would not have much variety on this and this time specifically when you have two markers introduced, beware that here you can get two mark questions from this also. And in matrices, the important topic for the higher number of marks would be row and column operations. So row and column operations, I tell you, you have to practice for higher number of marks, what not one or two marks it will come for. And in determinants, the system of equations, the system of equations in the determinant, this is a topic wherein you can get more number of marks from a single question. Say four mark directly you can get, six mark directly you can get. Once you have completed the whole of matrices and determinants, my advice to you would be go for linear programming, LPP. Linear programming is there wherein you have lengthy questions, but you can practice four or five questions, one for maximum, one for minimum and so on. And then you can sure shot get a six mark questions in the examination and you can get it full correct. So linear programming that is LPP you have to complete it full after your matrices and determinants. After that, since you have practiced differentiation in your physics, so practice the differentiation part from the physics. Do not neglect the last topics that is Rolle's theorem, Lagrange's means value theorem. Students do neglect it. You can only neglect one topic according to me that is approximation till the last year. But even in this year when you have two markers introduced, it is advisable to even cover that topic. So you cover then your differentiation and the differentiation you practice for parametric, you practice for implicit, you practice for logarithmic differentiation and so on. After you are done with differentiation, you can go for application of differentiation or application of derivatives. In this, go for maxima minima problems, local maxima, local minima. And in this, even go for your word problems for four markers and six markers. Word problems, right? Remember in application of derivatives, the last last exercises were based on the word problems. So that is for your six marks and all. Next, after application of derivatives, you know that I am going to talk about a very difficult chapter for a few people, but this has to be done in order to score for that section which has all the six markers and four mark markers. That is your integration. In integration, indefinite integration, there is nothing important. Every time there are random questions, you have to do it full. But in definite integration, in definite integration, definite integration part, the limit of some topic. This is important according to me, this you have to do. So my agenda of this video was to tell you some important topics of all the chapters. 
but I'm not going to tell you of all the chapters but of main main chapters because this video focuses more on the students which cannot do the whole of the syllabus, right? Then the next would be your probability. Probability and 3D. So in probability, you can expect a 4 marker or a 6 marker from Bayes theorem. Right? I'm telling you about the higher marks. In smaller marks, definitely some variation in the questions can be done. Last would be your 3D. So in 3D, basically, again, this is a chapter which is easy if you understand it properly. So focus on your shortest distance or focus on your, according to me, foot of the perpendicular, these type of questions. So that is it for this. And integration, especially focus on definite because one question, sure shot, it happens, it comes in exam. But even if after integration, you can focus on differential equations. This is not difficult. If you have understood all the other four chapters of calculus properly, differential equations will be very easy. See, there are only few types of questions. It is not required that you solve the full book. Firstly, you have to solve all these chapters from your NCERT book. After you have covered your NCERT two to three times, then you have to go for the mock papers. Solved previous year papers. Solved previous year 10 year examination papers or 7 year. And after you have done this, then go for some online tests that you can opt for. Right? So why testing yourself is important? Testing yourself is important so that you get that atmosphere of the 3 hour examination. Also, testing is important in order to know how much will I secure when I write this much. There are many books available which give you the mock tests. So what you do is you take one mock test, sit for 3 hours, do it just as the way you do in your examination, then check with the answer key and give yourself marks. You will come to know that okay, although I thought that I did this question correctly, but according to the marking scheme, I am not getting 6 out of 6 in this question. I am getting only 4. So I am lagging by 2 marks and that I need to cover up in the examination. Always discuss with your teachers, show them your uh, test papers that you are doing at home, practicing at home, ask them for suggestions and in mathematics one thing is very important that you all know is your formulas. So what you can do is again as my suggestion always make a chart paper, write all the formulas on it and know how much do you know and how much do you not know. When you do not know certain things, you can always know them by practicing, by learning, by memorizing. In mathematics, why formulas are more important because there is always step marking. Each step that you write in your answer sheet fetches you marks. If you forget the formulas in the question paper, the same story will happen. Out of six, you will get four even if you have done the question correctly. So formulas are important. Practicing NCRT in the first go is very important for two to three times at least. Do not leave the examples of the NCRT. Do examples, do exercise, then do miscellaneous problem exercise also. Then go for your test papers, previous year question papers and in the examination you have to focus on one thing which is your time. Do not devote whole of your time in one mark and two mark and then you are sitting and not knowing anything. So follow a hierarchy, either go for one mark, two mark, four mark, six mark or go in the reverse order, whichever you find best on solving your mock test papers you will come to know. So it should happen that in 80% of the time your paper should be complete and then you are just revising because some calculation mistakes, silly mistakes can be done in the examination because of lack of time that you find. So my suggestion, practice more, learn more, all the best for your examination.